You are in the preliminary cockpit preparation phase. To better illustrate what occurs in the pneumatic system, select the ECAM bleed page using the ECAM control panel. Let's talk about the indications on the ECAM bleed page. The engine identification numbers are displayed amber because the engines are not running. During preliminary cockpit preparation, all white lights must be extinguished. With the engine bleed push-button switch in the lights out position, the bleed valves are automatically controlled by the system. Observe the symbology on the ECAM. The bleed valves are cross-line green because they are fully closed. The HP valves are also automatically controlled by the system. They are displayed cross-line green to indicate that they are fully closed. The bleed temperature is displayed in green. The bleed pressure is displayed in amber because no pressure is supplied. The ground HP connection indication is always displayed in green when the aircraft is on the ground, whether the ground unit is connected or not. You also have to check that the cross bleed selector is in the auto position. Observe the indication on the ECAM. The cross bleed valve is displayed cross line green because it is automatically closed by the system. Since the APU bleed push button switch is selected off, the APU bleed valve is displayed cross line green, indicating that it is closed. The next step during cockpit preparation is to switch the APU bleed on. We have already started the APU for you. Note, do not use APU bleed if ground HP air is connected. Switch APU bleed on. Observe the indications. The APU bleed valve is displayed in line green, indicating it is now open. The left side bleed pressure and temperature are displayed in green because they are in the normal the range. The cross bleed valve is automatically opened. It is displayed amber during transit and in line green when fully open. The right side bleed pressure and temperature are displayed in green. As you have learned in the APU chapter, the memo APU bleed is displayed on the engine warning display. The next step is the walk around. If ground high pressure air is not required, you have to check that the high pressure ground connection door is closed. Usually, APU bleed air is used for engine start. The pressure displayed on the bleed page is also indicated on the ECAM engine page, which will be explained in the engine chapter. You are ready for engine start. To start both engines, click on the photo. Notice that the engine identification numbers have turned white, indicating that the engines are running. The engine bleed valves remain closed because the APU bleed valve is open and the APU has priority over the engine bleed. Now you may switch off the APU.
Switch APU bleed off. Observe the ECAM. The APU bleed valve is closed. The cross bleed valve is automatically closed. It is displayed amber during transit. The engine bleed valves and HP valves are displayed inline green because they have been automatically opened. We will now switch off the APU. Click on the APU master switch. With the APU master switch push button in the off position, the APU bleed valve is no longer displayed on the ECAM. We will now talk about the changes that occur in the pneumatic system during takeoff. Note, normally the ECAM engine page is displayed for takeoff. For training purposes, we will display the ECAM bleed page. As engine thrust is increased, the pressure delivered from the IP stages is sufficient and the HP valves are automatically closed accordingly. As soon as the aircraft lifts off, the ground HP connection indication disappears. Remember that it is only displayed on the ground. During flight, you might need to switch on the wing anti-ice system which uses hot bleed air from the pneumatic system. Observe the indication on the ECAM bleed page when wing anti-ice is used. Note, for further information, refer to the ice and rain protection chapter. Let's now see what happens in the pneumatic system when you are back on the ground. The ground HP air connection indication is displayed. With the engines at idle, the HP valves are automatically opened. When the APU is started, the APU bleed valve is displayed. Just before engine shutdown, we select the APU bleed on. Observe the indications on the ECAM. Select APU bleed on. The APU bleed valve opens. The engine bleed and HP valves are automatically closed because APU bleed air has priority. The cross bleed valve automatically opens in order to let the APU supply both sides of the pneumatic system. It's now time to shut off the engines. Click on the engine photo to shut off both engines. Observe that the engine identification numbers became amber because the engines are not running. Before leaving the aircraft, we will shut down the APU. But first, we must switch off the APU bleed. Switch APU bleed off. Observe the indications. The cross bleed valve is automatically closed the APU bleed valve is closed. The bleed pressure is displayed amber because no pressure is supplied. When the APU has shut down, the APU bleed valve is no longer displayed. 
This completes the normal operation of the pneumatic system. We will now discuss the indications associated with ground HP air supply. If the APU is inoperative for bleed air supply, a ground HP air unit can be connected to provide pneumatic pressure for engine start. The ground unit's pressure and temperature are indicated on the ECAM. Notice that in this case, the crossbleed valve remains closed with the crossbleed selector in the auto position. In order to start engine 2 first, you have to manually set the crossbleed selector to open. This is done according to a procedure in your flight manual. This concludes the pneumatic normal operation module.